Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about MVJ College of Engineering in Bangalore, which is one of the autonomous institution. So I'm going to review this college and if you see MVJ College of Engineering was established in 1982. So it's a quite old and established college more than 40 years and it has got a good decent campus size of 15 acres in Whitefield area of Bangalore, right? So that is the college details and it's approved by AICT and New Delhi and it's affiliated to VTU. So autonomous college under UGC 2F and 12B section and it's one of the good options in Karnataka. So it's actually got the autonomous status from 2019-20 batch, right? So it's already five to six years. It's an autonomous college operating from Bangalore. And these are some of the pictures of the main infrastructure. Uh, so 15 acres campus, so beautiful uh, infrastructure uh, and uh, other buildings, modern buildings, most of them. And uh, talking about the address, as I mentioned, it is based out of ITPL area, right, in Whitefield. So these are the complete address and the contact details in case you want to reach out to the college. So talking about the programs now, 15 programs are there under UG and I'll cover all the UG uh, uh, engineering branches. And in the PG, there are eight programs including MTech, MBA, MCA and some more are there. Also, since it's an old and established college, it has a very good, strong, successful alumni of 26,000 P students which have passed and one of one of the distinct you know, specializations which it mentions right is the first college under VTU Vishwasara Technology to offer aeronautical engineering for both at the graduate and the postgraduate level. So that is the unique distinction and uh, it's a good option to study here. Not talking about all the courses which are offered under different uh, departments. So first is computer science engineering department where you have uh, BE with AIML branch, computer science and design CSD, computer science and engineering CSC and there is also computer science engineering with data science. Then you also get option to study B in Information Science Engineering, ISC, MTech also available in multiple streams like AIDS, MTech in Computer Science Engineering and there is also Computer Science PhD available. Now talking about the electrical stream, so there are also multiple options are available for students. First is the Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Triple E branch. Next is the Electronics and Communication Engineering, ECE. Now they have also the new branch ECE with advanced communication technology which was launched last year and there is also electronics engineering with VLSI design and technology. So these branches are very good for the semiconductor industry which is going and there is another branch called BE B in industrial IoT which is also there. And also MTech also you can do in electronics and electrical related subjects as you can see here. here. Now moving further, there is a mechanical science department also where again distinct courses like aerospace engineering, aeronautics engineering which I talked about is a unique course first started here and then chemical engineering branch is there, regular core branch mechanical engineering is also there. And now moving to the last department which is basically civil engineering department. You have only one department, BE civil engineering branch in bachelors and my masters you have structural engineering and transport engineering from the MTech perspective. So before going for placements, you know, these are some of the infrastructure from the internals in terms of the, this is the library infrastructure, reading rooms, which are provided for the students. This is talking about the cafeteria, which is also again a good size and uh, provides South Indian, North Indian, Chinese and the continental menu and provide food kiosk within the campus for soft drinks, ice creams and etc. So this is one of the such kiosks for coffee cafe day, which is on the campus. They do have a fitness center with air conditioner, uh, you know, spread across 3,500 square feet and provides for different shower, locker and the gym facilities which are there. So this is fitness center one pictures you can see and this is the second fitness center two. So overall decent size uh, campus with all facilities and provide for accommodation facilities also for both boys and the girl student on the campus itself. So in terms of the boys hostel, there are different type of room like you have a two sharing common toilet and then they have four sharing option which is with common toilet as well as with the attached toilet. So those are the three options for the boys students. For the girls students, you have more options like two sharing, you have attached toilet, three sharing, you have a common toilet, 
for sharing you have a common toilet as well as attached toilet so based on your budget you can go for different hostels these are some of the pictures from the hostels so accommodation one two seater basically and this is the second accommodation for the boys and this is one of the picture of the accommodation for the girl students so, apart from that you have some more amenities on the campus like dedicated cafeteria i talked laundry services there atm is there on the campus itself and fully equipped gym and fitness center which i have already shown now let's talk about the placements and as a regular as you know i always start with the nirf placement data so this is the last year play the three years placement performance uh, so if you talk about the 2022 batch right passing batch 857 students were eligible for placements and out of which 720 students got placed which is quite good placement with uh, 4.5 lakhs as median salary in 23 batch also year was tough but they were able to do you know out of 796 students eligible 680 students can be placed and that was with the same median salary 4.5 5 lakhs and in 2024 batch 792 students were eligible for sitting in the placements and out of which 720 place got placed so number of place students they have maintained quite good about around 700 and 4.75 lakhs was the median salary so overall it's a good option if you are looking for autonomous college and now also i can give you the branch wise placements of 24 batch so that you understand which branches are the good option so you can see csc has the, the highest number of students placed so placed students are basically yellow ones so in the csc department 198 students got placed Ye yellow one or the orange one you have to see ece department 74 students got placed you can take that also information science around 66 students got placed then the number of students placed in the other departments also you can check here now talking about the 25 placement which is the latest data available i'm showing like the type of companies is coming accenture which come came and take took around 11 students so these are the 11 students who got placed in accenture with the graduate engineer training so these are first five students and this I am showing is the next six students. So total 11 students in Accenture in the current batch, which I am showing. This is the second company in 24-25. You can see Microland. And there also good number of students were selected. So these are the first six students, mostly from computer science, information science, CSC data science background. Six students are there. And almost all are girls. And here you also see some more six students are there all background with AIML, like in you know and csc design and all the csc specialization branches so 12 students total now some other branch placements also should understand so chemical engineering department is there for example you see six students based placed in the company called mini mines and you can see these are all chemical engineers so six chemical engineers placed here moving further another good company which is called mu sigma and which is good paymaster and they have taken students from mvg college of engineering in 24 25 batch so these are five students who got placed from different department like ece aiml csc all mix so these are some of the placements which has happened in this year and the overall median salary and the nrf report i have already shared that's all i have to cover in this video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in Karnataka. Take care and bye.